Summer is almost here and we are on a weekend getaway to the beautiful Austrian city of Salzburg. Salzburg is an ideal base camp for our plan to visit few of the beautiful lakes or seas in this alpine region. On day 1, we are taking bus 150 from Rabelplatz towards Bad Ischl. Today's itinerary involves a visit to the town of St. Gilgen, taking a ferry across Wolfgangsee to St. Wolfgang, taking the scenic Schafberg Bahn to the top and then travelling onwards to visit the touristy town of Hallstatt. The journey itself is like a picnic trip along beautiful Austrian towns, villages, meadows and alpine landscape littered with lakes. The bus stop at St. Gilgen is right next to the cable car to Zwölferhorn, sitting at an elevation of about 1,500 meters, yet reachable in 10 minutes and with around 30 euros. We had decided to skip this and take the Schafberg Bahn from St. Wolfgang as we had a pretty packed day. St. Gilgen is a picturesque town on the banks of Lake Wolfgangsee and the famous musician Mozart had family connections here. The majestic lake of Wolfgangsee lies ahead of us in all its glory, spanning multiple towns and villages on its banks. We'll be taking our ferry to St. Wolfgang from here and the tickets for the Schafberg Bahn Coke wheel train up to the top of Schafberg can also be brought along with the ferry tickets. Ferry runs from St. Gilgen to Strobel via St. Wolfgang and the receptionist will help you pick the relevant ferries along with the specific train rides. Our plan is to go ashore at St. Vulcan, do the round trip up to Schafberg, then catch the next ferry to Strobel from there. The views of the towns and villages from the lake with the abs in the backdrop are just amazing. There are two ferry stops in St. Wolfgang and we need to get off at the first one which is next to the Schafberg Bahn railway station. Called Austria's steepest Kog railway, Schafberg meter gauge train has been running from St. Wolfgang up to the Schafberg since 1893. It takes around 40 minutes to cover a total distance of 6 kilometers. A round trip would cost you around 48 euros, a bit on the expensive side, but the views on the top are worth every bit of it.
There is this wow effect when we reach the top through a short tunnel. Once on the top of the Schafberg, we can comfortably walk around enjoying the amazing 360 degree views of the incredible alpine landscape. I counted 7 lakes viewable from the lookout point. There is a restaurant and hotel available if you want to stay overnight and do further exploration. Depending on the ferry and train timings, you can explore the town of San Wolfgang before or after the train ride. But definitely do not miss this town. If you ask us, San Wolfgang turned out to be much more beautiful than the touristy Hallstatt. As typical of any alpine town, the wooden alpine cabins, the tall church at the center and streets around it leading to the lake are all just something out of a wallpaper. In 15 minutes, we reach the second ferry station to take our ferry onwards to Strobel. From Strobel, we can get on the same bus 150 towards Bad Ischl through the picturesque landscape where we can catch our train to Hallstatt.
Did I tell you that the journey itself is beautiful? Oh, I did. But you see, I cannot repeat that enough. The train gets us to a station opposite the town of Hallstatt across the lake Hallstatt Say. The ferry should cost you around 4 euros, but remember to carry cash in order to pay for the tickets as with almost everything else in Austria, which in this time and age is very interesting indeed. Of course, the first thing we do after getting to Hallstatt is walk to the Instagram spot to capture the famous views. There are two churches in Hallstatt, one right next to the ferry station and one atop the town. The church on the top has a cemetery around it and offers some incredible views of the town below. There is a waterfall on the very top which flows right through the center of the town into the Hallstatt Lake. Hallstatt had a lot more crowd than all the other towns including St. Wolfgang, yet for us St. Wolfgang was the catch of the day. Although the appeal for this calm, serene, cute little town is real and many would give anything to live here. Matter of fact, the reality is that the locals are fed up of all the tourists that end up on their shows, but can they blame us? Look at this place. After dinner, it was time to get back to Salzburg. We had to take a taxi to the nearest train station as the ferry won't run this late. This had been a packed day visiting three lake towns and two lakes. 
Tomorrow we would be visiting another lake and taking an incredible cable car ride to the top of Salzburg. See you in the next video.